What up, YouTube? Asia Persuasion here with my boy Slim. You already know, back on the grind. Doing them national profiles here from Dallas, Texas. I'm here with who, and what did you do today, bro? Uh, I'm Frank Nicola. I got top 64 with Goki. I probably should be at least top 32, but I uh, got procedure errors and I got a game loss game three. No biggie. I had a great time. Uh, this deck's really good. And I think this deck's probably going to win the event. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I can't Other than that, I'm going to jump right uh, into the deck see. profile. For sure. Uh, we played the Goki package, which was one bear hug, two head bat, which you, you have to play now. Before it was one. But since so many trick stars, you gotta play two now. Uh, two Octo, three with Scorpio. You can play two if you want. I like three personally because it gives me side out option. Uh, three Supex, three Twist Cobra, and that's it for the Goki Monsters. Uh, Supex is the best one because it can start the combo instantly. And uh, Twist Cobra is the sleeper. No one understands what this card does. <laughs> you don't want to know how many games I won because I was like, damage step. And they were like, what do you mean, damage step? Oh, Twist Cobra uh, yeah. game. Uh, that's how I won, uh, won my round 10. Nice. I didn't know about Twist Cobra. <laughs> and he was playing the deck. He played the what? deck. What? Yeah. Oh, uh, he learned. So for the hand traps, I played uh, three Droll and three Ash. I was gonna play three Droll and three Ogre, but I was like, you know, I might see more Trickstar. Yeah. So this is better versus Trickstar, and I definitely played more Trickstar. I played like probably yeah, six or seven trickster. during Swiss. Uh, one Ibli, you need it to do all your combos. Even if you open it, it's really good. So this is one of the better cards in the deck. Uh, for the equip spells, I did Arpha Duder and uh, the must have Phoenix Blade. I thought about playing three, but uh, I, you know, I didn't want to increase chances of bricking. I wanted starters and Gokis. Yeah, so sorry. I only played two. You could also play Living Fossil, but I wasn't trying to banish a monster. Yeah. So I played those. Overdone's also really good. Uh, we played one one for one and one uh, reinforcements of the army. Uh, this is a sleeper card, not a lot of people are playing this. This is how you get around Ash, this is how you continue your combo. Uh, just off of another Goki in your hand, and this alone you could do like uh, just a regular U. Uh, two rematch, you have to play two now. Uh, it's better in the grind game. I, I always wanted two, sometimes I even wanted three, honestly. Yeah, the card's really good. Uh, this is like the best spell card in the deck. It's, Two monster reborns. You can't argue with that. Mm -hmm. And then this is where my deck is just a little slightly different than standard. Two instant fusion over three. I was always deciding one out, like in New Jersey. So I just figured, you know what, I'll just cut it down to two and I'll put that instant fusion in there. Mm -hmm. I mean that uh, one for one. Also, uh, that card can kill you in time if you're not yeah. careful. Yeah, it is. And then uh, Sky Striker package, three. Hornet and three engage. I thought about playing Eco Booster and two engage, but uh, you know I didn't really want to brick. Yeah. Um, so I just played three three. Uh, this card, uh, you can actually do like the the just a regular U uh, Phoenix Cerberus uh, Goblin Link Rebo Mermaid with just two of these in any extender. A lot of people don't know that. Oh man, that's nice. Uh, and then uh, three called by the grave. This is how you continue your combos and you don't get droll reincarnations. So you need that in there. And then two uh, shade brigadine. Uh, you know this should be standard. A lot of people choose to play something like Imperial Order or whatever or Impertinence over this. Uh, this card plus any Goki is you know the full board. So I just wanted you know extenders and. Goki monsters mostly. So I'm gonna jump into the extra deck now. Is that 40 cards? 40 cards, yes. 40, 40 cards. Nice. Uh, first, let's start it off with our main card here. That this card, card should be banned. Uh, don't know why it's still. I think it's just because it's a character card, honestly. It's a character card. It's, it's a exactly. boss monster. It's a dark magician. This card literally is game every time. Yeah. Uh, the only time it's not a game is when they have Ghost Ogre and then you gotta put it back in the extra deck and yeah. yeah. This card is the second card. This card literally has, I won so many games because people did not read it. And then yeah. they were like, oh, double damage? What? what died, is, my card's a zero because of Underclock? Yeah. Uh, shout out to my first procedural error. Uh, <laughs> that, that yeah, I tried to make it with a token and a thing and I just, I didn't realize. Um, really good to go for game. 
really good going second. Um, one Link Kuribo. This is the uh, ending part of the combo. Uh, so you gotta put your Link Kuribo over there. Uh, sadly, Europe can't play Link Kuribo. Yeah, sadly. Uh, one Borlo. This is really good versus... This is very good versus, um... Versus anyone who summons a Borlo against you. This is how you instantly win. Mm -hmm. Uh, one Kagari. Uh, if you have uh, Bear Hug and uh, Hornet Jones, you can do full combo or with Scorpio. Uh, two Isidol. This is your starter card. This is how you outpace every deck in the game. It's really good to add Suplex off of if you get like Ashed or whatever. Uh, a lot of people would like Impertinence or Ash, the first effect of it. Never, never understood why. Uh, always Ash, the cost of the special summon. Uh, then I played the Nightmare Package. We have one Mermaid, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Cerberus, and two Goblin. You can interchange these two cards. I like this card because I don't, if I draw the Ibley, I don't have to bounce back my Goblin to continue my combo. I can just, you know, save my Firewall Bounce. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Double Goblin. Double Goblin's really good. Oh, uh, and one Raijin. Uh, you could, uh, if you play Invoker, you could play the level 3 dude, but I like Raijin because I can put my opponent's uh, Licorice and whatnot face down because they can really start stacking that burn damage on you. I'm going to get into the side deck now. Uh, this is a card I blindsided in because every time you go first with this deck and if you get the full board going on, uh, the good player will just scoop. So this is the best generic card that you can side in against any deck. Mm -hmm. Uh... This is for the mirror, the Goki mirror. We have uh, triple Ghost Ogre and uh, double uh, Reaper. Uh, the reason why I didn't play three and two is because I only want to hit Isidol because I feel like I'm going to beat you even if you have Firewall. Uh, if you don't have Isidol and I have Isidol. So uh, Ghost Reaper is really good. It's really bad to see late game, so I didn't want to brick too bad. But Ghost Ogre is pretty good to see whenever. <laughs> Uh, then I played, this is how I beat Sky Striker and, uh, Trickstar. Yeah, uh, this is like a newer card that a lot of people haven't caught on to, really. A lot of people were, like, trying Night Beam or whatnot, but this hits everything at once. Uh, Night Beam, you know, you could get that Force Activation on the Scapegoat in the Reincarnation, too. Uh, and if they just have Reincarnation or Scapegoat, you get it off the field. So, you can pick either one. But I played Hey Trunade. And then Twin Twister was just another another really good blind side uh, when you didn't know what you were playing against. If your opponent just went set one, set one, it generally meant they were playing Trickstar um, or like Altergeist or something. Um, overall, really good cards. Uh, and then I sided a Gumbar Dragon and I misplayed every time I saw it. <laughs> uh, I did not practice the combo correctly but this in theory is really good um, if you uh, if you go first only you side this in game two or three mm -hmm. and you get to take out your opponent's whole hand uh, or leave them with two and you'll have four cards and then if they hand trap you you can also burn them for three thousand yeah. so that could come up in time um, but uh, I I only put it in occasionally every time like I would put it in I would miss Borload because yeah, you would take out Borload for this. Yeah. And that is the whole deck. For sure, man. Any shout outs you want to give, bro? Uh, first shout out is going to go to my girlfriend, Mariah, for driving me hey, here. She's she always is. complaining I don't give her. <laughs> she drives 16 hours to get me Damn. here. So, uh, next shout out, I'm going to have to shout out my sponsor, uh, Team Ape. Uh, Chris is a really good guy. He's really nice to me. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shout out Hani. Hani's still in it. Uh, he's on his feature match right now. I think he might wind up winning the tournament. He's going uh, this build, he's playing the same build, probably minus one or two cards. He's nice. like phenomenal. He's on fire. He topped Jersey. Uh, he's, he's really good for his age. Uh, shout out to the whole Team Luxury. Uh, really good test partners. Uh, Dominic Couch, Carter Wicks. Uh, everyone who, you know, kept cheering me on during the tournament. Uh, you know, it got kind of scary round round eight because I punted the game to myself. Oh. I didn't uh, call by the grave a droll, and I had full combo. Oh yeah, cost me a cost me a game. 
Dang. And I had to draw that one. But uh, other than that, this tournament has been really fun. I'm glad I finally got my uh, my first national top after throwing my last year's Zodiac top away. But, uh, you know, this tournament was great. And uh, if it wasn't for that game loss, I'd probably still be in there. Yeah. Well, you did really good, man. Congrats on that top cut. And thanks for deck profile, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Congratulations.